How to Perform Synthetic Division Over a year ago, one of my most valued viewers, WHH01, asked me if I could help teach him how to do synthetic division. My reply was that as one who really started teaching Algebra 2 fairly recently, I did not know how to do it. I looked in a couple different textbooks to learn and didn't see anything that my feeble mind could truly comprehend. Here's an excerpt from my Algebra 2 textbook. Just recently in class, I was demonstrating long division of a third degree polynomial by a binomial. My students were looking at me with mystification that I would be teaching them something that was so hard. And for the last couple of years that I've taught primarily Algebra 2, I see something I'm not used to seeing, eyes glazing over and listening to complaints about it being too hard, too long, or too complicated. They think that as a teacher I'm able to, or should be able to, make everything easy. While going through a long division demonstration, one of my students, Alex, asked me about synthetic division. After I confessed that I didn't know how to do it, Alex volunteered to demonstrate synthetic division. And here's a picture of Alex after having completed this problem. Alex took this third degree polynomial x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 12 and divided it by this binomial x plus 2. And his calculated answer is the trinomial here shown below x squared minus 5x plus 6. During this lesson we're going to show how Alex got from here at the top to here his calculated answer at the bottom. The answer to how he did it is found here in the middle in the performing of synthetic division. Here's the problem as first written. This part, quantity x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 12, is called the dividend, the expression being divided. What does the word quantity mean? It means that the expression I say after the word quantity is enclosed inside parentheses, so that a person just listening will understand that the following expression is inside parentheses. And this second part, the linear expression, quantity x plus 2, is the divisor, the expression that the dividend is divided by. The first thing Alex did was draw this L-shaped frame, or organizer. We look at the last term of the divisor here, positive 2, and change the sign to negative and put it over here to the side. And why do we pick the opposite sign of the last term? It's because we need to put here the value for x when this linear expression equals 0. And here's the equation for that calculation, x plus 2 equals 0. So the value of x is 2, negative 2. Next, we take the leading coefficients of this third degree polynomial and place them here inside the frame. And here they are, 1, negative 3, negative 4, and 12, in order. The next thing we do is bring down the leading coefficient of x cubed straight down to the x squared place. Then we take the negative 2 here and multiply it by the 1 at the bottom. The product of those two numbers, negative 2, goes here within the frame at the bottom. Then we take the sum of these two numbers, negative 2 and negative 3, which is negative 5, and place it here below in what is the x term place. Now we take the negative 2 and multiply it by negative 5, which is 10. So 10 goes here within the frame. Then we take negative 4 and 10 and add them together and place the sum of that addition, 6, below the frame here in the constant or numbers place. Then we take the negative 2 and multiply it by the 6 here, and we place the product of negative 2 and 6, which is negative 12, here. Now we take the sum of 12 and negative 12, which is 0, and place it here below in the remainder place. This last number, 0, is the remainder. If this were some other number than 0, the remainder, we would write it down. That number over the divisor, quantity x plus 2. Finally, we use these numbers calculated to bring down our answer. The 1 means 1x squared, or x squared. 
the negative 5 here means minus 5x. The 6 comes down, come down to the numbers place as plus 6. It's important to do everything you can to check your work. So you can take this calculated answer or quotient of the trinomial quantity x squared minus 5x plus 6 and multiply it by the divisor quantity x plus 2 to see if you get the dividend x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 12. Let's look at the inset picture of Alex to see if we got the same thing. And I hope you can see how I've recreated precisely what Alex did in class to get this correct quotient, x squared minus 5x plus 6. After Alex's work, we had another eager student, one of my favorites, my former Algebra 1 and current Algebra 2 student, Roger, who also tried his hand at synthetic division and learned a lot that day. In this demonstration of synthetic division, Roger took the trinomial x squared minus 5x plus 4 here, divided it by the binomial x minus 1, and following Alex's method came up with 1 and negative 4 below, meaning that the answer or quotient is x minus 4. Before concluding, I'd like to point out one important point about using synthetic division. We'll use for an example this third degree polynomial quantity 2x cubed minus 2 divided by the binomial or linear quantity x minus 1. We start by taking this number here, negative 1, and changing the sign to positive 1 and placing it here at the left of the frame. And after that, here is where the numbers go into the frame. We have 2, 0, 0, and negative 2. Where did these two zeros come from? Note that up here we went from the x cubed term to the numbers or constant term with no squared term or linear term in between. This first zero represents the place for the x squared term, and since there is no x squared term, the number in this place is zero. And this second zero represents the leading coefficient of the x or linear term, which since there is none, is also zero. Having explained that important point, I invite you to stop the video and try to work this problem out, then restart the video to see how you did. Here are the numbers filled in below and inside the frame. This zero on the right means that the remainder is zero, so it divides out neatly. And our quotient is 2x squared plus 2x plus 2. Make sure that you check your answer using the box method or some other method to call it your final answer. One thing I like about teaching is being able to teach others things they need to or even better want to learn. But even better, is when a student is able to make a contribution that I can learn from and then use in turn to teach others. I thank Alex for his contribution. Maybe he can take my place when I retire. This has been How to Perform Synthetic Division. Thanks for viewing.